A letter to God G. L. Fuentes G. L. Fuentes is the author of the story and the first chapter, The Letter to God. Let us study a little bit more about him. Fuentes was born in Lanzarote in Canary Island. This is the location of Canary Island if you look at the globe. And here is another map of Lanzarote. G. L. Fuentes. He was born on July 11, 1897, and he died on January 13, 2002, and lived for 104 years. Fuentes was a fisherman and worked in a boat called Pila. The boat belonged to the American writer Ernest Hemingway. Fuentes was born in Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. He first went to sea as a deck boy with his father at age 10. As a teenager, he worked on cargo ships. He migrated permanently to Cuba when he was 22. A Letter to God Introduction The story A Letter to God by G. L. Fuentes inspires us to have faith in what we believe. You must have heard about a famous quote that says, Faith can move mountains. Let's see the characters. The first one is Lencho. Lento is a farmer who lives on the top of a low hill. The second one is a woman. She is Lento's wife. She took care of the family. The third one is a postman. He takes Lento's letter to the postmaster. The fourth one is a postmaster, a good man. He decides to help Lencho, pools money to help him in difficulty. Apart from these four, there is a mention of Lencho's sons who help Lencho in farming. We will look at this chapter in six parts. First one, Lencho's house and crop, the rain, Hailstorm and Destruction, Lento's Letter to God, Postmaster's Kindness, and Lento's Reply to God. First one, Lento's House and Crop. A farmer named Lencho lived on the only house on top of a low hill from where he could see a river and a ready-to-harvest cornfield from his house. The field belonged to Lencho. Lencho was confident that the harvest would reap and bring profits. The only thing that he awaited was for a rainfall. Second one, the rain. Lencho from his house confidently spoke to his wife and said that they are going to have a rain shower. Their elder children were working at the field and the younger ones were playing near the house. Lento's wife calls everyone for dinner. It is during that time that the raindrops begin to fall. This makes Lento excited. The wind was great and clouds could be seen coming from the northeast sky. Lencho goes out of the house to feel the rain on his body. He now compares the raindrops to coins. Large droplets equal to 10 cents and the smaller ones equal to 5 cents. He feels happy that the rain would lead to good harvest which would eventually bring him a lot of money.
Third one, hailstorm and destruction. Lencho for a moment was happy that everything was going as expected. Unexpectedly, strong winds start to blow, leading to a hailstorm. Lento now starts worrying and hopes that the storm gets over quickly, but to his utmost disappointment, the storm continued for a long time and the hailstones covered the entire valley, including the house, garden, hillside and the cornfield. It made everything look so white that it seemed as if it was covered in salt. His entire crop was destroyed. Fourth one, Lento's letter to God. Everything they were looking to gain had gone. But the family still had hope and faith in the Almighty God even after nothing was left. They assured each other and said that no one ever dies of starvation. Lento spent his night thinking of the only option left and that was to seek the help of Almighty. He thought of writing a letter to God seeking help to get him out of the trouble. He decided to write a letter and mail it to God on the next Sunday and asked him for a hundred pesos. Pesos is the Latin American currency. Fifth one, Postmaster's Kindness. The postman showed this letter to the postmaster. The postmaster laughed, saying that the letter was addressed to God. The postmaster also wished to have such a faith in God. He now wanted to see what Lencho had written. When he read the letter, he found that Lento was in need of money. Postmaster decided to help him by providing him the money. He did to keep the faith of the writer, so he asked all his friends and employees to give some money. Sixth one, Lento's reply to God. The next Sunday, Lento came to the post office and asked if there was any letter for him. He was given that letter. When he opened the letter, he found 70 pesos in it. Lento did not show any surprise on seeing the money. Instead, he was angry and disappointed when he counted the money. He felt that God couldn't have had made a mistake. So Lancho immediately writes another letter to God and posts it back. The postmaster opened the letter. Lancho had written that he had received only 70 pesos. Lancho doubted the integrity and honesty of the post office employees and suggested that the money should not be sent via post because he doubted that the staff at the post office must have stolen the missing 30 pesos. Thank you.